Uh, so some of the pieces on this concert are pieces that you've known for a long time and sort of like, I mean, think of September Cannons as like sort of, you know, your baby. Hmm. Um, can you talk a little bit about that and how your, how, how you, your relationship to has changed over time and what it's like to present that music to people? September Cannons, I mean, I'm an Ingram fan. Um, I think the first piece I played of his was Fog Tropes um, back in the day with Ethel. Um, and when he, when, when he wrote September Cannons for me, I mean, I, it, was, it was an extraordinary experience. How, how has it changed? I, I, I suppose you're asking for sort of a, more of an, it, it's more of an emotional or spiritual question. I mean, te te technically it's just, you know, uh, ways of doing electronic music have developed. So I've had the opportunity to revisit it in a lot of different ways. Um, the piece itself, you know, Ingram was very careful, as I think a lot of a lot of people were back in that time. You know, nobody wanted to just throw their nine eleven responses out there because that's just Absolutely. that's just far. You know, it's this whole concept of too soon is a relevant one. When I first played it. You know, I mean, I got I got what it was, and I got how, how powerful it was, and it is still a very, very powerful piece. But as all great works of art, they transcend the, uh, the period in which they were written, the circumstances in which they're written, or even sometimes their motivation or, or, or their original inspiration. So I think that September Cannons just <laughs> completely transcends all that, but, but especially for those of us who were here, who were here on that day, it, it still it pulls it back, pulls it back, and 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 it it uh, opens an avenue for contemplation and and, and awareness of that memory. Okay. Ming Stoll, yeah, been playing Ming Stoll for a long time. I, I think I played it with a couple of different pianists. The first the first time was Steve Gosling, and we put it together incredibly quickly for something up in uh, up in Boston. And back at the time, you know, I still I'd, I'd known Julie for a while, but but I still was just a great honor to be uh, that that she wanted me to do it, and um, and it was just a it was just it's a, a hand buster, very uh, very difficult from from a uh, an endurance point of view to put together a lot of energy in that piece, um, and when there's that much endurance involved. You never get the opportunity to feel what it's like and how it projects because yeah. you're always working. You're always working to really to really be there for the for the performance. Some some pieces that are more elegiac and so on, you can sort of enjoy it as you're playing mm. in a way while you're working. It's but this one is like focus, 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 focus. So that hasn't changed, and it hasn't gotten any easier <laughs> at all. We're very excited to have you. And uh, thank you so much for. Oh, for it's my to you today. pleasure. Have some more kettle corn. Yeah, absolutely.